Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chicago Robinson's career mode as he is a 99 overall quarterback headed into his third year. Through his first two seasons, he's thrown for almost 4,700 yards. 55 touchdowns and six interceptions. Returning to the offense this year as well was last year's star rookie running back Ramon Mays out of Ohio State and second year receiver and now number one on the depth chart for us, Jared Winfield. This past offseason as well headed into his final year on his rookie deal, Chicago signed a massive six year extension. This will have Robinson and Washington through the next seven seasons. So let's try to get them off to a good start here in this third season. First possession here of season number three in our career is gonna be play action to the left side. That's gonna be completed to Armstrong and he's gonna take this all the way for a touchdown. What a way to start off our first game. First play is a touchdown for us as that would be completed to Jared Winfield. First and 10, last play of the first quarter knocked incomplete. We move to the second quarter. Robinson back to throw. He's going right side. That's completed to Winfield again. He slips one tackle and that would bring up a third and two. Robinson back to throw across the middle. Completes that to Hankerson. He would have the first down. Second and eight. Robinson scanning the field, but he's going to be hit. Drop for a loss on the play, bringing up a third and 15. He's hit as he's thrown. That would fall incomplete, but we would take over with less than 20 seconds to go. Trying to get a little closer into field goal range to score before the end of the half. Robinson trying to take off on his feet. He's just barely going to pick up enough but we would not be able to knock down that field goal as we're going to avoid one sack. We're going to throw, and that's going to be completed to Cooley. What a great play there by Robinson, as that would be knocked incomplete. Third and one now, back to throw. Stepping up, going left side, and that's going to be completed to Armstrong. It was close, though, but the rest would ultimately say it was a catch, as that would set up first and goal from the eight. That's completed to Armstrong. He's just short of the end zone, so it's going to be a quick pitch to Halu, who finds his way in. And Washington would go up 17-7, to last play of the third quarter. Winfield has it along the right side, as that would bring us to the start of the fourth. Robinson back to throw, pressure coming. That gets to him again, second sack of the day for the Arizona to defense as that one was almost intercepted Robinson back to throw now stepping up he's gonna take off himself on third and 14 sliding forward he would have the first down set him second and goal from the eight back to throw he's taking off again and this time he's gonna fight his way into the end zone as Washington would go up 24 to 7 a handoff to Halu here all we need to do is run up the clock but he's gonna run this to the end zone so that would do it here in Arizona as we would walk away with an opening week victory over the Cardinals and Robinson and his team look great to kick off season number three here and with an early rivalry game coming up against the Eagles Robinson definitely looked to continue the level of play we saw in week one. These early division matchups are going to be must win games for Robinson and his team as they're really going to set the tone early here in the season and help them take a control of the division, which we have had a hard time doing in past seasons. It has always come down to the end of the year. So we want to come out and get a dominant win here and take control of the division early. But that's not looking like a great start for us as we are down 7-3 to three here. So that's going to be completed to Arm. Armstrong. He would take it across midfield into Philadelphia territory. Robinson now back to throw. He's going to step up. He's taking it himself. He has some room to run. Sliding down inside the 20. First and 10 to go. Chicago back to throw. He's going to step up. Only one man in front of him and he's going to drag him into the end zone. And that's going to be a touchdown as Chicago is going to give his team the lead 10 to 7. Trying to get some more points here before we head to the locker room. Robinson rolling out to the right. He's only going to pick up a few. Second and six, 33 seconds in counting. Robinson back to throw. He's going to step up again, take it himself, and he is going to be pushed out of bounds at the 10. 25 seconds, Robinson back to throw to the end zone. That's going to be completed to Armstrong. And Chicago would give his team a 17-7 lead headed into the second half. As that is going to be play action to Halu. Robinson back to throw. He's going to find Winfield wide open along the left side who breaks the tackle and he's down. Deep in the Eagles territory inside the red zone. Robinson back to throw. Pressure coming. He's going to try to get out of there and he's going to break one tackle. And he would pick up nine yards on that play. As Cooley now in motion. Play action to Halu. Pressure coming right side. It's going to get to him. Third and seven. 
Just over a minute 45 to go here in the third quarter. Robinson rolling out to his right to the end zone. That's completed to Hankerson as he would hold on for a touchdown. And all Robinson would have to do is run the clock out with the offense. And they would walk away with a dominant division win here over the Philadelphia Eagles. Even though his contribution was small, this was a huge win for Washington and his team. And after the first two games of the season, both Washington and New York were off to a hot start. And through this hot start, Robinson has posted 267 yards and three touchdowns. Let's see if Robinson and his team can keep this up against Minnesota at home this week. Starting out first and 10 from their own 31 yard line, Robinson is hit and dropped for a loss. Not a great way to start this game, opening up with a sack. Cooley in motion now, second and 18. Play action to Halu, pressure coming. Robinson rolling out to his right as he's going to take this one himself as he would only pick up eight yards on that. Now back to throw, pressure coming. He can't get it off in time. Trying to set up the halfback screen there. Minnesota would take the lead on their next possession. Three to nothing. Robinson looking, he's going across the middle. That's knocked incomplete. As now back to throw, going to the right side. Hankerson has it down the right sideline and more. As he would be down to the Minnesota 14. Now Robinson hit and dropped again. His third sack already of the day, bringing up second and 17. Now to the left side to Cooley. He has it down to the four, third and one to the end. Zone knocked incomplete. So Washington would settle for a field goal. Minnesota would score again to take a 7-0 lead. As Robinson goes down for his fourth sack of the day, second and 13, almost intercepted. Third and 13, the offense needs to convert to stay on the field, setting up a halfback screen to Halu as he fights his way forward. He's going to have the first down. Second and six, Robinson now back to throw, rolling out to his right on the check down to his tight end Cooley. He would have the first down, setting up second and two. Now Robinson looking right side. That's going to be knocked in complete. Two minutes to go. Robinson back to throw. He's going right side and that should have been intercepted. Second and ten. Another chance here. Taking the check down route to Cooley once again, who slips one tackle down inside the five. First and goal now from the three. Robinson rolling out to his right as he's trying to find someone open that would be incomplete. Setting up second and goal. Hand off to Halu and he would fight his way into the end zone. As Washington would tie this up at 10, 23 seconds left, trying to put together a game-winning drive as that's going to be completed to Cooley across the middle into Minnesota territory, 17 seconds and counting. Robinson, left side, Armstrong is wide open. They would call that a catch, a handoff to Halu now inside the 20, but ultimately we would miss the field goal somehow from inside the Minnesota 20, and we have to go to overtime against Minnesota here at home. Third and three, Robinson under center, dropping back to throw. That's going to be completed to Winfield for a first down. Second and 11 now, just over a minute and a half to go in overtime. Robinson trying to escape the pressure. He's going to break one tackle, but he would take a huge hit as that brings up third and seven to the end zone, knocked incomplete. But we would hold off the Vikings and kick a field goal for the win to walk away with a victory here at home in overtime. So Robinson definitely had a much better personal performance in this OT win than he did last week against Philadelphia, but overall is off to his slowest start of his career yet. But that's all right, because he's still managing to help the team win. So let's see if him and his team can keep it up this next week and make it 4-0. Robinson and his team would start down 7-0 here, and wouldn't get the ball until the second quarter rolling out, hit as he throws. That would fall incomplete, second and 10 now, back to throw across the middle. That's going to be completed to Cooley. Down inside the five, first and goal to go. A handoff to Ramon Mays as he's going to find his way into the end zone. First and 10 after tying it up, now it's seven apiece, just under a minute and a half to go, looking to get down and score. That would fall incomplete, so second and 10. Robinson rolling out to his right, looking nowhere to go. He would be hit again as the pressure has been getting to him all day here against New Orleans as they finally get the sack. We would move to the second half now. Going right side, that would be completed to Armstrong. Not many completions so far for Robinson today as he's hit again. Dropped for his second sack of the day. The pressure has been really doing a good job of getting to him as that would be completed for a first down. Second and four now. Hand off to Ramon Mays and he's going to find his way in for a second touchdown. But Drew Brees and the Saints offense would manage to go down and tie it back up at 14 apiece as that pass would fall in complete now going right side wide open is Armstrong down the right sideline that would be completed for a first down as Robinson back
back to throw. Looking, going left side. That's completed to his tight end Cooley for another first down. Nearing the two minute warning now. Robinson stepping up in the pocket. He's throwing. That's completed to Armstrong down inside the five. And now from the three yard line, another handoff. This time it's Halu as he finds his way into the end zone. And that would secure the win for Washington here at home to improve to 4 0. Not a bad way to start the season for Robinson and his team, as we're going to see next episode if they can keep this level of play up.